Engineering a safe I-70 in the high country with Glenwood Canyon shut down for mudslides. We think it's important to look at CDOT's plan to prevent these disasters. Our Jacqueline Allen is talking to CDOT's chief engineer about the possibilities. Here at CDOT headquarters, the focus right now is just on getting I-70 back open in Glenwood Canyon. But for years, engineers have been looking into solutions on how to prevent disasters like this from wreaking so much havoc. The 2013 floods along the Front Range led CDOT to start looking into new ways to reduce risk. CDOT says proactive investment actually saves money, so they're focusing on prevention, like installing rockfall nets, avalanche blasting, wind fences. For I-70, though, I sat down with CDOT's chief engineer, Steve Harrelson, about how they want to engineer a safer Glenwood Canyon. Is there a way to engineer a safer Glenwood Canyon? And the forces that make it so beautiful and, and, and so wonderful to look at um, are the forces that built it. And our, our road was designed to to fit through that environment, but sometimes that environment's a, a little surly. Our plan right now is to is to try to stabilize the road. If there are, you know, clean out the culverts that we've got. Um, if there are opportunities to dig to dig our bathtubs or opportunities to expand the, the drainage infrastructure under under the road, we're gonna we're gonna do that. But our our first goal is to get that road open at least one lane in each direction, just in the next week or two if we can. Some people are looking to mountain passes to provide alternate routes. Is CDOT looking at building up any of those? So so there are a number of um, mountain passes, dirt roads, jeep roads. We are certainly open to conversations with the various counties. My advice is to to, to stay on the paved routes around. Don't try to take the, the shortcuts regardless of what your computer tells you. It Harrelson says, remember, the same forces that built Glenwood Canyon, Mother Nature, are the same forces CDOT is fighting now. In Denver, Jacqueline Allen for Denver 7.